I was sharing the stories with my friends at home and they basically said, why don't you start a travel blog? And that's how the whole thing started. So Bangladesh was a big influence in actually starting the blog. I'm flying from Dubai to Dhaka, about three and a half hours. I'm nervous and excited, very excited. And my day tomorrow is going to start really early. I had been invited by Jamuna TV to go on their live breakfast show first thing the next day. Yeah, that's, that's definitely Dakar. Yeah. <laughs> I can see some things haven't changed. So I've made it to the hotel. It is half past midnight and the cab is coming to pick me up to go to Jamuna TV at 5.45am. So, I am quickly putting all my things out, look, laying my stuff out, you see, look, clothes, getting it all up, getting it all out, literally looks like my, it looks like my um, suitcase has exploded, and that's because it has. Um, I'm getting ready because I know that when I set my alarm for about four hours time, I'm going to be like, oh, um, but I'm really excited, I'm really excited to meet the people at Jimini TV, so, um, yeah. Great plans and all that. I found it really difficult to sleep. I was so wired. So I managed to get some sleep. I think I probably got two hours. Um, I'm feeling a bit bleary eyed, but I just made myself a, a big Nescafe coffee to wake myself up. I've rummaged through my makeup, put it on in the semi darkness, so I'm not sure what it looks like in the light. What do you think? Anyway, uh, we're going to Jamuna TV. Not sure what to expect, but. I bet it'll be fun. Good morning, how are you? Fine. Right, here we go. Taxi. Great. You speak English? Something. A little, a little. Good. Ah, oh, that's good. How are you? I'm fine. Now. Good. <laughs> You'd think the roads would be easy at this time of day, but I'm not sure this city ever goes to sleep. Look, you've got street sellers out. See? People doing their business. Look at that. I swear they never stop here. There, look at all of those satellites. I think we've arrived. It's all about it. <laughs> My lovely driver. Nice cameras. It's like being back at the BBC. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, That's all I need. Tuck the mic in. Not really wearing the right thing for radio mics. There we go, I don't think that'll drop down. Just do one more little check. Hang on. There we go. Whoa. Strange for me, I used to work in TV as a producer director and then now I work for myself and I do online videos and uh, <clears throat> for companies. And it's strange being the other side of the fence and actually being filmed, because normally I do the filming. I know I film myself like YouTube, but that's different to this. This is a different level. Normally I put these radio mics on other people. I might move that, because it's gonna knock into my necklace. There we go. Oh, gosh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. No, we say Shubha that would be tough for you. <laughs> that okay. would be very tough for me. <laughs> but good morning is absolutely fine. <laughs> thank so you. So how are you, Gary? I'm very well, thank you. I have just literally arrived in Bangladesh as of last night. So this well, is very exciting. That's very kind that you are already here for us, thank for you. our invi uh, invitation. So how's, how's life? How are you doing? Life is good. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to be here. Um, it's been three years since I visited Bangladesh and it's lovely to be back. And I'm very keen to see how the country has changed in three years, but also to see a lot more of it. Uh, but can you tell us that how did you become a travel blogger? And I'm like, what inspired you? What inspired you? 
So I was traveling with my family. I have twin boys. Um, I started What are their names? Jake and Isaac. Lovely. Nice. And I started traveling further afield, so beyond Europe, when they were seven. Um, and we went to Bolivia. We went to the Amazon rainforest. And it was based on a children's book. Wow. And we'd been reading this book. And um, I said, wouldn't it be amazing if we go to the Amazon? And how was it, by the way? It was incredible. Nice. It was exactly like this book. And very shortly afterwards, um, our Bangladeshi friends in London invited us to come to Bangladesh. And we were loving seeing more of the world. So we came here. I was sharing the stories with my friends at home. And they basically said, why don't you start a travel blog? And that's how the whole thing started. So Bangladesh was a big influence in actually starting the blog. Why become a travel vlogger? <gasps> well, I just feel like it opens up your mind, okay? So when you meet people from other countries and you understand more about how they live, um, how they think, it, it, it really is such a special thing to do. And also I think the one thing I really enjoy doing as well is taking the stories back to the UK. Because people in the UK, you know, they might travel to Europe and they might have ideas about another country, which are actually quite small. So what they think of another country is not necessarily what that country is all about. Um, and I really enjoy taking stories back and opening people's minds and getting them to consider traveling to another country and also just to view a country in a different way. So to be able to take your lovely stories um, and show uh, people what you're all about um, makes me really happy. What would be your suggestion for the new video vloggers who wants to come into travel vlogging? That's your camera? My suggestion would be just be yourself and tell the real stories and don't try and script it. Don't try to make the story, to force the story. Just go with the flow. Thank you very Thank much, Carrie Patsois. That was wonderful having you on the show. And basically, that was wonderful knowing another amazing, positive person who would come to Bangladesh and would try to portray Bangladesh in a very positive way for the outer pleasure. world. Because as long as we have people like you, it won't be a very tough thing for the world to know about our culture, the it's prize pleasure. that we carry. Yep. and uh, the beauty that we have in every corner of Bangladesh. Thank you very much for coming here. Thank you. And we are honored to get you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Right. Uh, uh, Look who I'm with now, oh, my friend Deba. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason I'm here is because of lovely Deba. And we're going to go for a coffee. And Deba and I have connected. Um, we've been connected since 2020, haven't we? Yeah. And we saw each other's profile. <laughs> And we liked each other's profile, and we've been friends ever since. And it's been really, really lovely to come here and meet you in person. 